Oh, yeah, I feel that. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I heard that you pushed a young child who was seven years old in front of the bus. Tell us what was going through your mind at the time when you decided to push a child in front of the bus. Well, if, at that point in time, it felt more so like a, an instinctive action because first I didn't see the bus coming. On the other side of the child, however, there was somebody getting ready to um, <gasps> Sorry. snatch his, Did I do that? Snatch his um, <laughs> one phone. Right. So I pushed so him out of the way. Story has Where did this come from? Already. <laughs> he tells me from the chairs. that oh. you... Yeah. Sorry. No, this is bad. <laughs> this, this, this is not right. Sure. Obviously, the child is bad. It's the truth. And guess maybe. It's the truth. What are you talking about? How are we going to set this up? We might end up being able to record two shows. So we'll see how this works. And if that comes becomes possible, then uh, what we'll have is... Uh, two people doing the hosting guests and then rotate if we can get another person doing the hosting guests. And everybody else will be rotating in positions. So everybody will be on air. He's turning it on. Yeah. I'm not going to do it. I can tell you who want to be on air. I think he might. Excuse me, why would I want to be Because you're very... He wants to be behind you. No, he wants to be the director. You want to direct? No, I don't. Yes, yes. Yeah, you want direct, man? I want to do whatever gets me there. I don't think. Oh. Yep. That, that's, that's a good That's the Zoom. Yep. Well, whatever you guys kind of feel comfortable with. So what we're going to do is, once we get, every day is a practice in building up. So today and Wednesday, what y'all do is come in here Wednesday again and do this. And we'll set it up where we can actually try to do a rehearsal type and then do another one, then after that, then everybody get used to it, and then we'll record the programs. I was telling them, see that? <coughs> What's going on behind you? Mm -hmm. That is the actual system playing back what people produced, either like they took the cameras out in the field and, and shot, it looks like a, a church service, right? Or an interview show in here. And this is for the community. So we could actually record our program here and put it on air. Cool. So we can think about that if we like. I don't know. It's up to you guys how we do it. But what we're going to end up doing as a class is planning a actual interview show with the topic and everything. And I'll show you how to do that. Basically, they last about a half hour. So you end up recording, like, breaks in between. I don't know if that's possible for that, but I'll show you how to do that. It's time to do it. We also got to work the lighting on this side. You look okay, but then, no, you look okay, but then you don't right here. So that's another mm, thing we're another working with room. as we plan to see how to do things and what to do with the lighting. So, um, I like this. Can you hear? I don't know what you're doing. I'm back here, I can't hear. When you're sitting here, your voice echoes and bounces. That's probably pretty good for the mics. But I watched a few shows and it sounds a little weird. Why'd you say that? Because it sounds like, like I feel like you can hear the echo and then you can hear the talking like at the same time. It's still, you know. You mean from here? Mm -hmm. These shows? What do you think is that? Mm -hmm. What do you think is the, the, uh, I guess the, the, the problem with, she was saying that when you hear it, you can hear the <laughs> echo and then you can hear the music at the same time. So it's like almost feeding back into itself. Yeah, we can send, we can actually send audio out. How does that you doing that? Sometimes they want to hear themselves, the time they want to hear themselves. So if we turn that down, then we can kind of work with it. Work with the EQ. I didn't even notice they were up there until you pointed. And so really that's what it is. If you have, let's say you were doing a live broadcast, and I, I give you a great example. <coughs> NBC Today Show in the morning or one of those morning shows. They out on the class, they got speakers out there, and you might hear the feedback sometimes. That's what that is. Okay. Talking, the mic is on, it's being back to the speaker coming back at you. You don't want that. You want to be able to talk. Camera and record. Water, <laughs> the other thing I was telling them, you guys the headsets, it's like this one's here and you got other ones. Over 
we end up doing is plugging headsets in. Todd, it's not. There you go. And Are well, you, you can't tired, hear anything now yeah. because it's not plugged right, in. She's 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 but, right. So <laughs> well, everybody have a headset. What does that headset do, Rashad? Us in there, so we can actually close that door. Oh, and then you're talking in there, and you'll never be able to hear, you know, them. The vice versa, we don't need to hear you if we hear it in there. So, so who's who's the who's ta- who's the Rashad listening to? The people in the control right. room? Yeah. He's not talking. Right. He's listening, right? Right. Okay. Right. Okay. You never talk during the program out here. Only time you talk is if. We're setting up the shots and we're getting ready and saying camera one, and then you say something like, you know what, uh, I think I gotta move my camera, for example, or you know, just telling the director what's wrong or whatever. Floor director is the only person really be should be talking to, them. not doing the program, but talking to them to relay the information what's getting ready to happen. And is the floor director one of these people? Um, I think that's what the deal is with this, right? We don't have a separate floor director. We just have the one the people on the camera, right? Yeah, there is there is one we can actually pull from okay. that panel for a floor director. Yeah. Right. So we'll have four headsets. Yeah. Yeah, that would be better. Oh. That person who doesn't have to worry about, you know, uh operating the camera and giving the commands. I got quasi cars I can make. Five, four, three, two, one. So you'll be able to stand up there and show the person. Got five minutes, four minutes left. Sarah, make a real emotional face. You're on. You got like serious close-ups. Let's see what time is. All right, so let's wrap it up. Go ahead and lock the cameras down and.